these are the main stories on Thursday the 7th of December. Birthday memorial for Damalola, Sammy's twin grabs on and Christina and Brittany at the billboard. Today would have been the 11th birthday of murdered schoolboy Damalola Taylor. His parents will hold a memorial service in Peckham, South London to mark it. Yesterday his father told of his grief when he saw where his son died. This literal innocent boy must have really suffered before he, he died. And uh, I, I, I find it uh, extremely painful. The parents of the Siamese twins, born in Manchester, have spoken for the first time about the operation which separated their daughters. Michelangelo and Rena Attar say surviving twin Jodie, seen here holding her dad's finger, seems to miss her sister Mary, who died after the operation. It'll be less of a strain filling up at supermarket petrol pumps this morning. The four big supermarkets have all cut the price of petrol on their full courts by up to two pence. Winds of up to 80 miles an hour and two inches of rain are expected to hit Britain from tonight. Forecasters predict a repeat of November's storms which battered the south coast. Western England, Scotland and Northern Ireland are being told to batten down the hatches. It was the Battle of the Blondes at the Billboard Awards in Las Vegas. Britney Spears picked up two awards, including Albums Artist of the Year. But Christina Aguilera, doing her best Cruella impersonation, won the coveted Female Artist of the Year award. Both thank God. Here's the sport. Manchester United topped their Champions League group thanks to a 2-0 victory over Stone Gratz. Paul Scholes got his fifth goal from six games to set them up for a rare away win in the competition. England's chasing their first victory over Pakistan for 38 years and have made a superb start to the deciding test. Pakistan won the toss, opted to bat and then lost their opening three batsmen. A few moments ago, Pakistan were 83 for three. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house for the weather. Well